We all know and love Archive. It is a massive preprint repository with a lot of wonderful papers. Unfortunately, these papers are not very easy to skim, search, or sort. New papers are also added every single day, but unfortunately, all you get is this huge featureless list. It's easy to miss interesting papers that might be relevant to your research. Introducing Archive Sanity. The function of this website is, as you might imagine, to preserve your sanity when dealing with Archive. As one of its features, it offers the same view of recent new Archive papers, but all papers are now laid out in a nice way with a thumbnail preview of the paper for a quick skim and abstract below in green. Unlike Archive, there are a lot of nifty additional features included. For example, we can decide that this paper on human pose estimation is interesting and that we may want to see more papers like it. For that, we can come here to the right and click on Rank by TFIDF similarity to this, and Archive Sanity will re-rank all papers in Archive based on their similarity to this paper. So in particular, here we see all the papers in Archive that are on human pose estimation. This is based on bigram TFIDF encoding of the full text of papers and works very well. We can also search papers. For example, we can see what Jeff Hinton is up to by searching his name. And here we see all of his papers recently posted on Archive. You'll notice on the top right that I am logged in with my user account. This allows me to save any papers I like to my personal library. For example, if I like this human pose estimation paper, I can click on this diskette to add this paper to my library. If I go to my library here on this tab, you can see it appear here on the top. Along with it, there are many other papers I've already added as interesting to my work. So these are all the papers currently in my library, and there are many. I can also decide that I'm actually not that keen on human pose estimation and remove this paper from my library by clicking on it again. The library is not only useful as a way of keeping track of interesting papers. Archive Sanity will take the papers in your library and use them to recommend related work. Internally, all of these papers in your library are positives, and all the papers outside of it are negative, and Archive Sanity will train you a personalized SVM based on Bigram TFIDF features of papers. We can then go to the Recommended tab to see our results. Here we can see all the papers posted over the last week that Archive Sanity thinks would be most interesting to us based on our library. We can also filter papers to different time ranges. For example, if we click on all papers posted over the last year or over all time, we could find related work that we may have missed and we should really know about. Finally, we have the Top Recent tab, which shows the popular papers across all users in Archive Sanity. For example, these are the papers over the last week that many users have added to their libraries. And these papers can of course similarly be filtered based on time ranges. Therefore, even if you don't have an account yourself, you can still see what papers other Archive Sanity users find interesting. And that's it for a quick tour of Archive Sanity. Currently, the project website is only hosting papers from machine learning parts of Archive, such as CS, CV, CL, LG, NE, and StatML. This is mostly because these are the areas that I personally work in. However, the entire source code for Archive Sanity is on GitHub, so anyone can easily create their own fork of Archive Sanity for other parts of Archive as well. Okay, so I hope you enjoyed the tour and that you'll find the website useful. Bye-bye.